Hello juniors! This video is to help you register and understand how to use Naviance as the next phase of the college rollout. You're probably wondering, what is Naviance? Naviance is a website where you can research colleges, careers, and scholarships, communicate with the Noble Street College team, and plan for your life after Noble. We will use Naviance during the junior year college rollout through advisory and throughout senior year in your college writing course. Today you are going to register on the Naviance website. Once registered, I'll walk you through the features of the website. If time allows today in advisory or at home in the future, you will then have full access to the website. Before we begin, you will need your, need your Naviance student registration sheet, a pen or pencil, and a computer. To get started, there are two options listed to get to the website on the top of your Naviance student registration form. I'm going to choose to go to Noble Space, the junior website. Once there, I can then use the blue right hand link straight for Naviance. Once I'm on Naviance, I'm for the first time here going to need to register. Please note after we register today, anytime in the future, you can come to Naviance and log right on in with the email and password. On this screen, you're going to then type in the registration code exactly as you find it on your student registration sheet. You can find this code right in the middle of your sheet. Please type this in again exactly how it's listed. Once you have, please click register. And you should get to a screen that says complete your registration with your name. If you do not, please try typing your code in again or raise your hand to get assistance from your advisor. When completing this, please use your at Noble College Prep email address. It's important we use this as it's your professional email and not your personal email. Next up, it's going to ask for a password. Please use an appropriate password that you'll remember that's at least six characters long. Finally, read through the privacy statement, agree that you accept, and complete your registration. Once your password has been accepted, please write down your email address and password in the space provided on your Naviance student registration sheet. We will collect the sheet back from you at the end of this session and return it in the near future. So in the meantime, you might also want to take a moment to put this password down in a safe spot in your agenda or send it in an email to yourself. Welcome to Naviance. We made it in. On the home screen, you will be able to access all of the content within Naviance. At any time, you can click the orange home button in order to get back to this same home screen. In the middle of the home page, you'll notice the What's New section. This is automatically updated and often shares the college representative session information or what new message has been sent through Navi Naviance. Please note we will do college representative sessions this spring for juniors and then a lot of representative sessions next fall as a senior. On the right hand side, you can go to the Messages Center. The college team will send messages through Naviance to communicate opportunities similar to those you've been receiving in the college team emails. Please note, when we send you a message through Naviance, you will also get a copy of this message in your email inbox. Please continue or make it a habit of checking your email at least a couple times per week to make sure you stay in the loop. Naviance content is divided into three main pages, Colleges, Careers, and About Me. On the Colleges tab, you can use the left-hand search bar to search for a specific school. If I'm unsure of what type of school I'm interested in and want to research schools, I can use these options within College Research. Supermatch allows you to provide some parameters or preferences on what type of school you're looking for or program. College Compare allows you to look at a variety of schools together. Once you decide on a school you want to check out, all of the pages within each college are set up the same, which makes it easy to navigate. 
Sometimes in the middle, they'll have some web content here, a video or um, uh, photos or walking tour, which you're welcome to check out, but not all of them. They'll also have a link to this visit website if you wanna go directly to the school's website. Underneath here, it's then gonna give you a how you compare section. In, this includes your cumulative weighted GPA and once we'll have it, your ACT score. Please take this information with a grain of salt when looking at the University of Michigan averages. These are averages based on Noble Street students who have applied and been accepted to that college. We will use a tool called the College Bot when we return from winter break to help give you a better idea of your admissions odds based not just on Noble Street, but the entire Noble Network's data. Below, you can use then these options in black to get more information about the specific school. Especially of interest can be this majors and degrees tab, which will give you a full list of the options, and majors and programs specifically at that college. Those options, once loaded, will also then have a hyperlink, so you could click on that major and then be able to see all the colleges that have that major. Student life then can give me specific information about clubs on campus, housing, student organizations, sports, so that might be of interest too. If I like a school, I can then add it to colleges I'm thinking about and that's a way to then just keep the school fresh on my radar in one place. Next up is the careers tab. Similar to the college tab, you can search for a specific career and save career fields that you're interested in. If you're unsure about what a career would be for you, you can definitely be doing research within this what are my interests to get a good sense of what type of field they think based on your answers would be a good fit for you. If I type in uh, a career I wanna check out, I'm gonna check out Actuary. Similar to the colleges page, they're always gonna be set up the same, which is nice. So on this homepage of the career Actuary, it's gonna tell me about that job overview and related careers to it. If I click on knowledge and skills, it's gonna tell me what skills I need to be successful in this career and what abilities do I need to have to be successful in this career. If I click on tasks and activity, I'll be able to read about what the day-to-day -day work would look like if I was an actuary. And finally, if I click on wages, I can see salary information by state for that career. Please note that as you start your career, you'd probably be in this 90% made at least, or $53,000 range. And as you gain experience and become more valuable to your employer, you would work your way right and potentially earn more money over time. Finally, the About Me tab is exactly what it sounds. It's all about you. This is where we will ask you to complete information about your preferences, do surveys as part of the college writing course, and update information about yourself. On your computer, please follow along with me clicking this profile link, again, on the About Me tab. This information is imported from Naviance through PowerSchool. Please note that the GPAs listed under academic information are your cumulative GPAs and not current GPAs. These will be updated again at the end of each semester, so this upcoming January and again in June. Weighted includes the weighted bump if you have taken any AP or honors courses. On your student registration worksheet, please indicate if any of the information within the personal profile or parent profile needs to be updated and include in there the correct information. Please also double check your name at the top. On college applications, we need to use your legal name. So if that is not currently listed correctly, please indicate this on your worksheet. This concludes Naviance registration. Please turn in your student registration form once you've indicated any updates to your advisor. Now that you have Naviance access, feel free to do research on the colleges and careers that you're interested in through Naviance during advisory or free time at home.